welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i am filming a zaflora haul firstly i'm going to show you all the zaflora items that i currently own and also like a tips and tricks and hacks on how to use zaflora because pretty much every time i do some kind of clean with me or speed clean video i do get some people ask me what zaflora is how to use it and yeah so i thought i would include this video within my spring clean series i have done a couple of other deep cutters and clean with me videos for this springtime with us spending a lot of time at home i have a lot to still do, believe it or not. I have a lot of decluttering that I still wanna get done, especially my beauty drawer and my bathroom. So that is next on my list. But for today, I wanted to focus purely on Zaflora. So for any of you who are already Zaflora lovers, give this video a thumbs up. Let's see how many of us there are. And for those of you that have never tried Zaflora, I'm intrigued. So pop me a comment down below and let me know if after this video, you're gonna try it out yourself. So I've got myself my morning coffee and I actually have loungewear on, which I've pretty much been living in. This set, it's actually a matching co-ord set from Boohoo, I'll leave it linked. I've also got my Mrs. Hinch activity journal here. I've listed everything that I'm gonna talk about today. So if you see me looking down or referring to my notes, it's my little Zaflora uses tips and tricks on what I wanna share with you guys today. So if you do wanna take note, make sure you have a pen and paper yourself and let's get in to the haul, first of all. So I do have a lot of Zaflora. I am a bit of a hoarder. I like to try every single scent and then once I've tried it, I'll know then whether or not I like it and want to buy it again. So this is an example of three different sizes that Zaflora comes in. I believe there's an even smaller one as well. 500 mils this one is, the middle one is 250 and then this one is 120. And price wise, generally speaking, these are usually about a pound from either Poundland, Home Bargains, b and you can get any of these in like supermarkets as well. The 251 is anywhere usually between like £1.50 to £2.50 and then these ones are usually a little more expensive at like about four or five pounds. It just depends on which shop you go to and I always grab Zaflora whenever it's on offer. Another thing to note that on all the back of the boxes, they have all the dilutions. So you can just follow that step by step depending on the use. So you can use it as a spray, so diluted with water in a bottle. You can dilute it even further and use it like on floors. And then you can also use it neat or undiluted. And another little tip that I only recently discovered on a Zaflora bottle, they've got all these little ridges. Each ridge signifies a capful. So if you wanna go on that measurement as opposed to pouring it in the cap, then that's just something worth noting. So I also have just a couple of other products to show you that work well alongside Zaflora, which you'll see later on in this video. But this first one is Star Drops White Vinegar Spray. I also have some soda bicarbonate of soda. I also use soda crystals. Another one is the Lenore tumble dryer sheets. It doesn't have to be a Lenore, any kind of tumble dryer sheets. And then last but not least, a fabric softener. This is the one I use. And then the last thing before showing you what Zaflora's I have, just a quick note that cleaning versus disinfecting is very different. So obviously cleaning is to get rid of the dirt and grime, but it doesn't necessarily kill all of the germs and bacteria. So that is why I love to always end on Zaflora because it kills 99 percent of bacteria and viruses and also they smell amazing okay i'll start with the biggest zaflora's i own so this one i picked up recently the springtime one which i've already shown you this one is probably one of my favorite scents but it is a pet friendly one as well um it's in the green valley fragrance they've brought out a new coastal breeze pet friendly one but i'm yet to try that one so let me know if you've tried that and then the other 500 ml one i have is again another favorite of mine lemon zing so i tend to prefer the citrusy kind of woody spicy scents as well as opposed to the florals so springtime for me is a little floral, a little lighter than what I would usually go for. Um, but with it being springtime, I had to pick this one up. And then I only have one of the 250ml size, and that is the Mandarin and Lime. I believe they brought this one out as a limited edition last year. This is one of my absolute favourites. It's definitely within my top three but I am a lover of all the Christmassy scents. So outside of the festive period, even though I do still tend to use the Christmas ones, this one is probably my first favorite after the winter ones. I actually got three. 
of the festive fireside one. Well, for one, I love the aesthetic and the name of this. But also, like I was saying earlier, the woody kind of spicy notes. It's a smoky and spicy blend bursting with festive oranges, cinnamon and cloves. Love that one. I also love the sparkling spruce, but I am all out of that. I love the warm cinnamon one that they do at Christmas as well, but I, again, am all out of that. And the other ones that I have left are the cranberry and orange, love that one, and then winter spice. And then the last of the winters of floras I have is the limited edition winter morning one. This one is a cool, fresh fragrance combining mint and sweet vanilla with a touch of seasonal spices. I still like to use this one throughout January and February when it's still cold. A favorite to use upstairs in the bedroom in particular is the lavender scent. I have both the lavender and the lavender escape ones here. The difference between the two, lavender is a very natural fragrance with smooth aromatic notes entwined with a hint of fresh mint and rosemary. And then the lavender escape is a relaxing scent of English lavender coupled with freshly picked jasmine wild rose touch of basil on a clean musky base. I think this one slightly tops this one for me. It's less lavender and a bit more musky so i really love that one one of their latest releases was the midnight blooms and everyone raved about this one so i managed to get my hands on one from home bargains and it does smell like everyone says it smells like a like black orchid fragrance or the black opium a little bit like the YSL one. It's still probably a little too floral for me in terms of picking it out as a favorite. So it has oriental rose, orange blossom, and rich dark amber in. I also have the Twilight Garden, which I think was a limited edition, but on the packaging it now says I'm back. So I think it is now like always being produced. I don't know, but I think it is. Twilight Garden is moonlight flowering lilies, richness of ylang and jasmine, perfectly balanced with uplifting notes of peach, apple, long-lasting musk. I have two of the linen fresh just because these are a good go-to um, in washers because of the linen scent. These two are probably the least favourite that I own and I have two of them which is a little bit annoying. I might just um, give one to a friend or something. It's not that I dislike it but it's just not a go-to for me. It's the Paradise Peach. It was a limited edition. I don't know if it's still being stocked or not but it's a summery fragrance with juicy peach and apricot finished with sparkling citrus and exotic fruits so i think i'll save this one for the really hot summery months and then last but not least a fave of mrs hinch the country garden i think her favorite is springtime though fresh blend of wildflowers and beautiful blossoms with a delicate heart of rose so it's quite floral this one so that is my the flora haul now to my hinch list so i have about 25 different different uses for Zaflora. And if there's any that you can add on to this, be sure to leave them in the comments below. But number one and two, I'm gonna include these together, are radiators and lights because they work well in terms of when the radiator is switched on or if a light switched on after wiping it down with Zaflora, the heat kind of warms up the products and gives off a lovely fragrance. The third tip on how I like to use it is neat in a toilet. So if you feel like you just need a little refresher in your bathroom, then I would just sometimes put a neat capful into the toilet bowl itself. And not only does it freshen up the smell, but it also disinfects the water. My all time favorite way to use is a flora, and one that I pretty much do on a daily basis is to, once I've finished cleaning up the kitchen area, is to put a capful neat into the the sink and then put hot water in that which makes the kitchen smell incredible but it's also one that you can transfer to your bathroom so in the bathroom sink or in the bathtub itself if you've done a big bathroom clean and then once I have finished a house clean you can also put your cloths that are dirty from doing the house clean into the sink with the Zaflora to help disinfect them. And if you want also sometimes if they're particularly dirty, I'll put in some fairy powder to just help actually clean them as well. Another area that builds up a lot of bacteria because we touch on a daily basis is light switches. So again, whenever I have my Zaflora out and doing a bit of a speed clean with it, I will always make sure to remember the light switches. And again, a, another area is laptops. Obviously not the laptop screen, just the actual keyboard itself. I'll take a little bit of Zaflora in a spray bottle, spritz a kitchen towel, let it air out, dry a little bit, and then just wipe down 
down the keyboards and then the kitchen towel you can fold it to get right in between the actual keys themselves another way i like to use a flora is to spray down a welcome mat so you can obviously use this on both your welcome mat at the front of the door and if you have like a back door area with a doormat there as well it's the first thing that you'll smell as you walk into your home but also it just obviously disinfects it as well the main use that i would say i use a flora for is in the kitchen to wipe down all the cupboards and again the door handles on the cupboards because we touch them pretty much every day and when you're cooking in the kitchen if you've got a bits of food or anything on your hands and you're touching surfaces and door handles to open things then obviously bacteria is rife and then like second to that is the worktops as well so every time i'm like wiping down the kitchen i'll always wipe down both the worktops as well as the cupboard doors and the door handles i also love to use as a flora in our bins so the kitchen bin and the outdoor bin can both benefit from a bit of Zaflora. The outdoor bin, if it's particularly gross and smells and when you take your bins out, it doesn't have to be that unpleasant. You can take some hot water and Zaflora and spray down all of the inside, rinse it all out, and that instantly makes it smell a lot fresher. But on a more regular basis, in terms of bins, I like to use it in our kitchen bin. What I'll do is every time I take out the bins, I'll pop a kitchen roll, which is soaked in a little bit of Zaflora, just in the bottom of the bin because it just helps keep everything smelling fresh. Another area that can be forgotten are skirting boards, and it's definitely not something that I clean on a daily basis. I put my hands up and admit that. It's not like as easy as just a quick hoover or wipe down. You kind of tend to forget about skirting boards, like I do anyway. Every once in a while, just take a cloth with the floor and wipe down every single skirting board in the house. Just focus on that one task. And then that way they are done and you can like forget about it again until next time. This next one's a little bit controversial. I know some people like to do it, others disagree. Reed diffusers, if and when you've got an empty reed diffuser, but you like the look of the packaging, the aesthetic of it, and you want to refill it, I've used it in the past. The only thing I will say is if you put Zaflora in a reed diffuser, I do find you have to turn the reeds more often. But apart from that, it still works. So... I take it or leave it with that one. Every once in a while, the washing machine needs a clean and I like to just run it on a cycle, on a hot cycle. Sometimes I'll use a proper like washing machine cleaner, like a Dr. Beckman one or something every sort of three months. But every month maybe, I will just run a hot wash with soda crystals, some Zaflora, which disinfects the entire inside of the drum, but it also makes it all smell amazing. And then second to that, I like to use it in the wash sometimes, if I have a towel wash or gym wear wash. They're the sort of items that you don't mind a hit of that stronger Zaflora scent with. But other than that, I wouldn't put it in my regular wash. Another area I pay particular attention to in the sinks is of course the plug holes. Now they can build up a lot of lime scale, dirt and grime, which the white vinegar spray is really great for tackling. The white vinegar spray doesn't smell like as good as Zaflora does. So you can spray the white vinegar, but also pop a bit of Zaflora with it and it kind of mixes together to do its job, but also smell amazing. You can also create a little DIY like Febreze fabric spray with a spray bottle, some of your favourite fabric softener and of course it's a flora. It's quite nice to use complementing scents. So for instance I might take, if I'm taking my fairy one then I like to use the linen fresh in a spray bottle. You can use that on curtains, sofas, carpets, rugs, cushions, bedding, clothing, basically any fabric. It's also quite nice to spray a bit of diluted Zaflora on fake flowers. I only really have this plant. Every once in a while, if I'm spritzing around the worktops and surfaces with the Zaflora diluted in the spray bottle, then I'll always remember to just spritz any fake flowers or plants as well. The way that I use the flora with the tumble dryer sheets is, I mean, you don't have to use the flora with it, but for me, it just gives that extra scent boost, if you know what I mean. So you can pop a little bit of Zaflora onto one of the tumble dry sheets and pop them in your cushions, like in your sofa, behind your cushions, so that every time you sit on the sofa, it kind of poofs out that fragrance and just smells amazing. On your floors, if you don't have any floor cleaner or if you want to try it within your floor cleaner, again, just to give you your favorite fragrance, I'm pretty sure on the website it says you can use it on liner, tiles, and wood. 
but obviously always just test a little area first just to make sure it won't damage the surface. As and when I'm doing a big fridge clean and clear out, I'll take out all my food and wipe it all down with Zaflora. I'll just dilute it down with some warm water and wipe down everywhere, which is perfect too. Make sure everything gets disinfected and then I'll always go in with a clean cloth afterwards just to wipe it all down, like give it a second wipe down. So it smells amazing, but there's not loads of excess product left over in the fridge. One of the household items that holds the most bacteria, which is kind of gross, is the remote control and it's got all the little buttons so really hard to get into all the crevices and give the remote control a wipe down once every couple of weeks or so but i suppose i should probably do it more often because especially now i'm watching a lot more tv another area that i like to use the floor every time i'm changing the bed i like to air the bed so essentially i will strip the bed put all the things in the wash leave the pillows and duvet off the bed and spritz the mattress with some diluted to the floor you want to make sure it is all fresh so when you've got fresh linen on the bed there's no better feeling but to make sure that it's fully clean. Zaflora is also great to use if you have any stinky shoes, any like old trainers, gym shoes or anything like that that you feel are getting a bit then what I like to do is put some Zaflora on a kitchen towel and like press it on the inside of the bottom of the shoe so that it kind of soaks up some of the product but the kitchen towel also makes it so there's not loads, you, you know, don't pour Zaflora in the shoe. Just dab it and then I'll leave them to dry overnight and then take out the kitchen towel and you can always use that again in your bin like I mentioned earlier spritz a little extra Zaflora on it and pop it in your kitchen bin and then the last place to use your Zaflora is not in the house it's in fact in the car I'll take a cloth and some diluted Zaflora and wipe down all the surfaces within the car and not forgetting the air vents as well because then when you turn on your car your air conditioning comes on or your heating again it gives off that initial scent of Zaflora that just smells amazing so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you found it useful well, that is all of my little tips and tricks and hacks and how I personally use the flora. Those of you that are new to it, let me know how you get on after watching this video. And those of you that are not new to it and have any other ideas and suggestions on how you use the flora, do pop them in the comments below and share them with me and everyone else watching. I will leave my other spring clean series videos down below if you did fancy watching any of those. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. And I hope to see you all in my next one. Bye guys.